from Kere to the two in Togo. God bless you, brother. Let's bow our head for prayer. Lord Jesus, we give you glory. We thank you this morning because of the life of your people. We have come into your house this morning to worship you, to shout to you. Let your spirit come down and bless all the saints here this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. May be seated. Praise the Lord. Let's put our hand together for the Lord this morning. Amen. Oh, I give glory and thanks to the Lord uh, because he brought me back here again this morning. Um, you know, I'm forcing with my English. So uh, if I use words that are not correct, so please forgive me. If I can get the opportunity to go in French, I will be uh, very happy, but uh, anything that the Lord has done is good. Uh, it's bringing me also to, to perfect my English, so I give him thanks. So may the Lord bless you richly this morning uh, for all the work that you are doing for the sake of God. Uh, may the Lord bless our, our pastor. Uh, the job is not easy. But once we are doing the work for the Lord, the Lord is, stay, or is staying with us. No matter what will happen, he is here to deliver us. No matter what you are passing through, you have or we have to realize that we are serving a living God. It's now more than 2,000 years when Jesus appeared physically on earth. But he said somewhere that in a few moments, people or the world will not see me again. But you, you will see me. Because I will be with you and I will be in you. Amen. We live by the promise. Amen. God bless you. This morning, I can't see my, my brother, the one who helped me in the translation the other time. So this morning, I'll try to do what I can do. Amen. Oh, uh, I want everybody to get on his feet. We will read in Daniel chapter six. I want to have someone who can read it for me in English because I have it here in French. Daniel chapter 6.
from verse 7. to 10. All the presidents of the kingdom, the governors and the princes, the councillors and the captains have consulted together to establish a royal statue and to make a firm decree that whosoever shall ask a petition of any god or man for 30 days, save the king, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. Now, O king, establish the decree and sign the writing that it be not changed according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which altereth not. Wherefore, King Darius signed the writing and the decree. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house and his windows being open in his chamber toward Jerusalem. He kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God. And he did as he did a four time. Amen. Amen. May be seated. Amen. Uh, this morning, my, uh, is it sermon? My title is We Don't Walk by Sight, but We Walk by Faith. Amen. 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 Can I hear someone say amen again? Amen. Amen. The Bible was saying for people to get an argument to uh, against Daniel because they were saying how are we going to or what are we going to do to catch this man to catch him to trap him what are we going to do and when they look at him Daniel cannot do things that people were doing. So they were saying, How are, what are we doing? What are we going to do to catch him? And they say, We know him that he used to pray to his God several times in a day. So what we are going to do, it is on that way we are going to catch him. But the king loved so much Daniel. The king loved Daniel so much. So much. And it pains the people in the kingdom. Hmm. So they were looking for ways to, to, uh, uh, to harm him. Amen. Amen. So they went and forced the king to, 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 to come out with a decree. And what is that decree is saying? Nobody will pray to another God in this country for 30 days. Ah, why is it not for forever? And it's for only 30 days. Just to catch Daniel. Because they know that within 30 days, Daniel cannot stop praying to his God. Amen. And the king could 
know that this is the reason why they want him to bring out a law. But there they know. Amen. When I'm talking about Daniel, I'm talking about a Christian today. A Christian today. Yes, sir. Someone who is listening to me right now. The devil is looking for ways to touch you. He knows that if you go to beer bars, is it like that? Yeah, the beer bar. The beer bar. Yes. Beer bar. He knows that he will not get you there. Yes. If he goes into the world, he will not get you there. So he will use your Bible. He will use the word of God. He will use the work of God to catch you. Like the serpent used the word of God to catch Eve. Amen. In this country, for 30 days, nobody will pray to another God except to the king. And when they told that to Daniel, look at what Daniel did. The Bible said that he went and opened the windows and the doors where he can stand and pray so that people should, uh, people should hear. He didn't go to, to, to hide himself somewhere. He opened the door, he opened the window, and started shouting, praying to the Lord. And the Bible said he was doing it three times in a day, like he, he used to do it. As he used to do before. Amen. Amen. So, those who came out with the law, they know that they will catch Daniel. Yes. So they were, how do you say, they... they they were watching him. Yes. That very day, they caught Daniel. And they went to the king. And they said, oh, king, we thought you said nobody should pray to another god except to you within 30 days. But... Among those people from Jerusalem, there is a man who doesn't obey your law. Or there's someone who doesn't obey you. And the, the, the king said, who is that person? And they say, it's Daniel. But the king loved so much Daniel. So the king did everything. To bring them to shout their mouth. But they still say no. King. Is Daniel. Is above, above the, the, the law. law. Is Daniel above the law. <laughs> so the king. Falls to save. His life. But he couldn't. couldn't. Their purpose is. To see Daniel. Die. The Bible said they caught Daniel. They sent him into the hole of the lions. Yes. I want to let you know what I want to say this morning. They say, if you pray to God, you will die. Mm. That's what they said. That's what the enemy is saying. If you pray to another God, except to our king, you will die. It's the same as you go to hospital and the, 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 the nurse or the doctor told you that you have blood pressure. The very day you eat meats, that very day you die. Or they'll say, you have, how do you call it, um... Though sugar sickness. Yes, diabetes. 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 If you eat bread, you die. If you eat this, you die. 
The word of God is saying, we don't walk by sight, but we walk by faith. I like this. To let the devil know that you don't obey him, to let the devil that you don't mind him, you have to disobey his law. You have to disobey the law of the devil. <laughs> Daniel, if you pray to another God, you die. Brother, if you eat sugar, you will die. Is it not the same devil? It's the same devil. If you take sugar, your sugar level will uh, rise. Will rise. And you will die. Remember that you are a Christian. And a Christian is someone in whom God is. Amen. Please, Pastor, if I'm talking and it's not correct, you just help me. Go on, go on. Amen. You see, anybody or everybody that will pray to another God, except to the king, we will put him in the of lion. The den of lion. Amen. The Bible said, when Daniel heard this, he said, okay, I will show you people that I have a living God, and my God is able to deliver me. No matter what the situation is, whether it is lion, whether it is uh, fire, whether it is TB, whether it is blood pressure, whether it is AIDS, wh whatever it is, my God is able to do something. But before that God can walk, you have to do also something. Before that God can take position for his word, you have to do something. The Bible said, faith without work is dead. If you are saying you believe, then do something. Noah believed and he started building an, an ark. ark. Abraham believed and he started purchasing babies, dress, and so on. God told him, you have a baby. You and your wife, Sarah. But look at their ages. 85 years. And 90 something years. When the Bible, when God told that one to Abraham, what has he done? He believed. When he believed, he didn't just go and sit down. He started preparing something. He started doing something. You too, if you believe, from today, start doing something from today. That is the kind of creation God like. If you are saying you believe. Because faith without work is dead. If you are saying that you believe, this sickness you are passing through, they will tell you, don't eat this, don't eat this, don't do that, don't do that. No! You have the highest doctor in your house. The biggest physician in the nation is your father. It's God. The one who called you. Don't fear anybody. The one that you fear is the one who called you. He said, Martha, did I not tell you if you believe? You see the glory of the Lord. Amen. You just believe first. And the rest is in the hand of the Lord. He will take care of it. Then Daniel, he was not thinking about his life. He was not thinking about what he will pass through. But his purpose is to serve God. No matter what will happen. 
Amen. When they said nobody will pray to another God within 30 days, the Bible said Daniel went and opened the door and the windows and started shouting. I hope he shouted that day more than he was doing it before. Lord Jesus, I give you glory, glory. Oh, I give you thanks. Just to let them know that he will not worship another God except of the God of Israel. If you believe, do something. Amen. You will plan that you fast and pray. And the devil will tell you, Hey, do you know that you have a ulcer? Do you know that ulcer don't, doesn't like fasting and prayers? Oh, okay, fasting. Because he knows that if you fast, you will pray. So he will prevent you from fasting. But if you a Christian, you cannot fast. Where will you get your power from? Amen. He said, hey, um, my name is Ulcer. You know if you fast, you will get into trouble. And you too, you say, no, the next told me I, should not, I shouldn't fast. Hey. Oh my. Look at what Daniel did. If he pray, he will die. You too, if you fast, maybe you will die. But, even that decree was that, like that, Daniel chose to pray to his God to see what can happen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I said before, not I said, but the word of God is saying, we don't walk by sight, but we walk by faith. Amen. I give you testimony here the other time. I said when I was sick, I won't go back again this morning. Oh, Lola. <laughs> Amen. When I was sick, I went to hospital because I decided not to worship God. I said, me in my life, I will never worship God. And I told you the reason. Because my, in Togo, for the message to, to, to be seated now, is from my father. He was the first pastor of the message in Togo. And the way the Lord used him through the country, his testimonies, it's not small matter. But after that, they give birth to us and we stayed in poverty for so long. I have to go to university because there's no money. I just stay home. And I was saying, that God of my father, the way he uses my father, the testimonies that my father had. And why is it that, that God cannot bless him? But if I choose, I decide to worship that same God, that means I will be also poor. Then, for me, I will never. I told my father, me, the way you are seeing me, or the way you see me, I will never worship your God. And my father said, the thing that will bring you back to the house of God is on the way coming. Praise the Lord. Hey, do you know something? We have to prophesy good things on our lives. We have to prophesy good things on the, on the life of our children. Our children. Because anything that you are saying, God will let him come. Yes, sir. Oh, God will let it come yes, to pass. My father said, you, you are just joking. The thing that is going to bring you back into the house of God is on the way coming. 
I said, it's a lie. Because I was serious with what I was saying. I don't have a problem with that God. But the problem is that seeing myself in poverty, seeing myself in a village without having a house, and I will also venture to, to, to wear the same God. And I said, no. That is the reason why I, I, I said I will not worship that God. Amen. So I and my father, my father and I, we never agree till I've left the village. And I went to Ghana. I stayed there. I stood there. And I got a job I was doing. When now I started getting money, I said, no. Now, the reason why I'm giving the testimony this morning, I will tell you right now. As I started getting money now, I say, no. Because my sweetness is in ladies. Or oh, is it not like that? That is my business. Even if I don't have money, even if I don't have food, at least I have to get a, 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 a girl. So I went there and I went out with a girl without protecting myself. That is where I started getting into trouble. I told you the other time. I'm saying it again this morning Tell us, for people who were not aware to hear it again. To let you know that our God can do everything. Everything. Tell us, Pastor. We want to know. No matter the sickness that hold you in bondage right now, the God of Israel is able to deliver you. I'm telling you the truth. Because he said, uh, Isaiah chap chapter 53, I, I don't know how to say it in English. Par ses maîtresses, vous avez été guéri. By his stripes. Yes. Amen. And now in uh, Psalm chapter 103, he said, I am, oh, he's the God who forgives. All your iniquities and heal it all your sicknesses. And here, heal it all, not some, but all blood pressure is a, 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 you know them all cancer. The Bible, the Lord said, He is able. To heal you from the hand of all those sickness. What you have to do is to catch, to, to, to hold this promise. See, I was not going to church before. But since our childhood, our father trained us. Fasting. I told you I was in P3. When I did my, three day, my first three days fasting without eating anything. Not even, I, don't, I didn't even have 10 years old. And my father trained us like military. I was weeping. Because, see, a child who, uh, not even 10 years old. My father locked me in the room to fast three days. <laughs> Why? He was telling my mother that the Bible said, show the child. Train. When he grow, he will not depart. I was weeping. My mother went to my father and said, Oh, daddy. But the, the, the child is, is uh, hungry. 
my father said, he knows what he is doing. That the child will not die. I did three days fasting. Even porridge, they didn't give me. Only water. Oh, I was saying, this man is wicked, pa. It's wicked. I was weeping in such a way so that it, it should touch him, but nothing. In that fasting, I saw the open, the, 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 the heaven open, and angels were coming down with trumpets, blowing. And I got up, I told my father, and my father said, You see, a, 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 a Samuel, is it like that? Samuel. 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 Is a little child when God started talking to him. We have the same God today. Yes, sir. Amen. So, those fasting is not only one time, two times. No, several times in my life, since my childhood. Now, when I grow up, when I was now in Accra, when I was now sick, my father didn't even know where I was. But when I was here, I went to hospital because I can feel in my body that there is a change in my body. After going out with the girl, I know that some eight to ten months later, I realized that mm -mm, there's something that is not going well. And I said, I'll go to hospital to go to, uh, to do the test. Is it test you say? Yes, sir. Amen. Before I would go there, I said in, my, in myself, because I'm now accusing myself of what I've done. Not because I've done it, but why is it that I didn't protect myself? And here we are in a big city, in a big town. I don't know the girl before. I don't know the kind of life he, she is living. And why is it that I've done that? I started blaming myself before going to hospital. And I said, okay, whatever it is, the mistake, I've done it already. So, I'll go to hospital and let them do tests for me. And I said, there's two things that are waiting for me. Either I'll come out safe or I'll go there and they'll tell me that ah, you are now sick. You are, no, you are now positive. I have those two things in my, head, in my head. And I said, okay. I was not going to church. But see, all those training that my father has given us since our childhood oh. is still in my head. Is still working, though I don't want to save God, but it is still there, it's still talking to me. I was not going to church. Where can I get this kind of faith from? from? And I said, if I go there, and they said, I'm sick, I'm, uh, we call it seropositive. I said, because the testimonies our father has given us, that his testimonies is ready to write an, another book of Acts. Because he has big, big, big testimonies. And I have all those testimonies in my head. And I was saying, if it is true, that it is God who did all those things through my father, I will now call the God of my father. I will now pray for him. I will now beg him to heal me. If he heals me, I will never turn my back to him again. I was saying it myself before going to hospital. Because I know that where I was standing that, that time, mm -mm, something is telling me that there's something who is, that is going wrong. And I went to hospital. The, it was a lady. He questioned me. 
why is it that I'm coming to do my test? And I said, no, they, 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 they taught us is, uh, in school that uh, once in a while we have to go and do the test. But I know what I've done. Yes. All truth is not good to be said. <laughs> <laughs> and she said okay she, she advised me brothers and sisters I'm saying it again the testimony I'm giving now is not a joke I'm not playing I am not telling lies the highest place in the world is the puppet. Or is it not like that? Correct, sir. I cannot come and stand here and tell something that is wrong. Because God is still God. He can still punish. And he can still bless. And I'm saying it everywhere I go. If what I'm saying, if this testimony is a lie, then let God cross me somewhere and kill myself. Or oh, this is the opportunity now to let that sickness to enter my body, even without doing anything. Because I cannot come and stand here and say and give uh, 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 false testimonies. Never. I know that this testimony is big. It's huge. But I'm saying it. Maybe someone is passing through something right now. If God is able to heal someone who was not a Christian, someone who disobeyed, To his word, if he's able to forgive that person and to heal him, that means you who are passing through something right now, the same God will touch you. Amen. 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 So I gave my finger. And they, 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 they take, they have taken, she has taken my, my blood. Some 10 to 15 minutes later, she came back with a paper on which they write things with red pen. When I saw the red ink on the paper, I myself, I know uh, the guy fall in trouble. Amen. What is the sin God cannot forgive? There is only one sin. When you sin against the Holy Ghost, that one, he can never forgive you. But all the others, he is able to forgive you. God is still healing people today. He is still blessing people today. We can stay here and pray from here and someone will get healed in another country. Because he is the same God. I believe it. Amen. The woman said, now that you are positive, how are you going to behave for the rest of your life? And I said, Madam, look at me. Today, you can see through your machines that I'm sick. But one day, I'll come back to this same hospital. Look at me. I'll come back to this same hospital 
He will do the test again, but it will be negative. And she started laughing. Because she, know, she knew that I was just encouraging myself. But I know what I was talking about. Seeing the testimonies of my father, I said, no, if God can do all those things, he can still heal someone. Listen, I was not going to church. I was not Christian. Amen. And the woman said, one or two weeks later, I should come back for something else. I say, okay. But I put in my head that I will never come back again until I get healed. So I came back. I was teaching there. My salary was good. And I said, because my father trained us with fasting and prayers. So I have to use that same way to see what God can do. Because I know in myself, if I abandon myself to God, he will heal me. Amen. Brothers and sisters, don't fear fasting. Don't fear fasting and prayers. It's the source of our power. What I'm saying this morning, if you never feel the power of God, start fasting and pray, something will happen in your life. As sure as one plus one is what is two. Okay, I'm coming. In last April, I told you they called me to come and pray for one of our sisters in Burkina Faso. She was sick since 2003. So it means for 16 years. And the, the problem, I'll come back to my, te my testimony. And the problem is the backbone. Yeah. She cannot stand up like the way I'm standing here right now. The husband is a rich family. They are having money. No matter what is the cost of the medicine, they are buying it. They said, uh, I don't know how to translate it in English. They say, uh, you see, cartilage de conjugaison. When the two bones are joining, there's some, some, uh, 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 some oil or some, yeah, some, uh, 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 yeah, that, the, the doctors are saying that, that thing is, is no, no more there. That is why the pain is there. And they write, they have written all the medicines. For 16 years, $2,000 a year. So 16 years, meaning $32,000 in hospital. I say, la, la, my God, the money I need in my life. <laughs> the money I need to do something in my life, people are using it to buy. Isaiah chapter 55, he said, why are you using money to buy things? Amen. Amen. Things that will not let you be satisfied. You are using your money to buy it. Things that will not uh, let you uh, 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 develop anything in your family. You are using money for that. But there is a source of water, of a living water flowing here. He's saying, come to the water. Come and drink. Even if you don't have money, come and take the life of water. Or the water of life. If it is enter, it enter your body, something will change. Yeah. 
Focus your mind into the word of God. Believe in God. Believe in God is believing in his words. You have to know that he is able. Okay. And then when I went there to Burkina Faso, it's a pastor who called me. Because he knows that I can pray for people to get healed. And the pastor called me. He said, uh, Brother Elom, there's one of our sisters uh, who is sick in Burkina Faso since 2003. Now it's 16 years of sickness. And she's suffering seriously. Won't you please go there and pray for her? I said, no problem. But I don't have money. If you just uh, uh, do my transportation or pay my... Uh, is it transport? He said, no problem. And I went there. You and I, we have to know what we are talking about. If we are talking about God, we have to know what and what God can do. And what God cannot do, there's only one thing that God cannot do, is lie. God can never lie, or he can never tell lies. If he said, I will bless you, you hold on this word, he will do it. In Mark chapter 16, he said, In my name, you lay hands on sick people and they will get healed. God was not joking with those words. He was serious. In John chapter 14, verse 12, uh, 12 he said, Verily, verily, I said to you, You that can believe in me, all the works I'm doing, you will do it also. And you will even do it more. Can you say amen? amen. Amen. So when I went to Burkina Faso, it was in April, last April. I saw the sister. Oh, The, the devil you uh, manipulated the hair the way it's like. Sometimes the woman has to sit down like this before to be free. Sometimes she has to sleep for a whole week. She can't even cook any food. The money is flowing every day of buying medicine and so on. They will say, no, the doctors will say, is this problem, is this problem, is this problem. Oh, do you know something? You and I, we know that he is a devil. That is his name, his first name. Not cancer. Not AIDS. Not blood pressure. No. Call him devil. But if you say cancer, oh, it's like you are, you are babying, or how will I say it? Amen. You say, oh, cancer, and it is there, boasting. Yeah, those people don't know me. Because the name you are giving to him, he knows, or it knows that it is not his name. It's just a nickname. But before you can fight someone, you have to know that person. Before you can face the devil, you have to know him very well. You have to know what he can do and what he cannot do. But if you just stand there, uh, talking, talking, he will not even look at you. But if you know your position, if you know what you are talking about, if you know the kind of God you are worshipping, the devil re recognizes that. Amen. So when I went there, 
to Burkina Faso. I saw the sister. Oh. That no. He's, and I told them, the pastor also was there. And I say, brothers and sisters, do you know, it's not a problem of a spinal cord or how do we call it? I said, no, 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 it's not that. And they say, no, that is the doctor say. I say, no, you are a Christian. I'm talking about something else. It's the devil. The charm. I say, someone charm the lady. And the pastor, listen to me. The pastor asked me, Brother Elom, how can you say someone living under the blood of Jesus Christ and he will be charmed? And I say, Pastor, this is the one that is showing you that she is not under the blood. She is in the church, but in the blood, no. They were confused. They say, ah, the pastor is some simple man. I know that he was he didn't accept what I told. I said, them. He said, I said, someone charmed the, the, the woman, the sister. And the pastor said, brother Elom, is the doctor say that oh it's a, a problem in the backboard? I said, no, it's Juju that is working there. Someone jam her. And the pastor said, Oh, how can someone live under the blood of Jesus Christ? Like people are thinking today. People think that once you are in the church, you are under the blood. No, no. If you are under the blood, the blood protects you. The pastor said, oh, Brother Elam, how can you say that she is not under the blood? I say, yes, sir. She is not under the blood. Because this sickness is not a sickness. It's a devil. They charm the woman. I know that they didn't agree with me. But I didn't force, force things. I know the time will come right now. They will know what I'm talking about. Yes. Thank you, sir. And I told the pastor, to put his hand on the head of the, the sister. And I went back and I put my hand where the pain is. And I said, let's pray. The pastor and I, when we started praying, my hand was there and I said, you devil, come out right now. When I said that, the woman shouted, why? And she fell down. So, when she got up, and I said, why is it that you fall down? Listen, she said, when I started praying, when I started talking to the, to the devil, something ran from the back to his head. And I said, Pastor, the problem the doctors are talking about, can it work? <laughs> can it leave the, the, the back to the head, later the head to the foot? I said, Pastor. Okay. I said, you devil, come out. While the woman was uh, 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 laid down on the ground, she doesn't know anything. She will say, I will not come out. And I say, Pastor, do you hear what your sickness is saying? As Christians, we have to know what we are talking about. And he was speaking in their language. Yes. I say, come out. The woman is on the ground. He said, no, I'm free. I'm free here since many, many years. And I said, you see, someone is suffering. You, you are saying you are free. In the body of that woman. A woman, a sister in this message. Since 16 years. 
he was, he was, she was going with the, in the church with the juju in the body. All right? They went to conventions. Pastors pray for her. The devil was there looking at them. Because the devil knows that they are just joking. They are playing. They don't know what they are doing. That's why 16 years the devil is still there. Because and now in 2019 uh -uh, it seems upon all those medicine that the, the, the sister was taking the, the sickness is going now bad. It's increasing. Now the sister can know, can feel now that mm -mm, he, she is now getting to, to, to her grave. Do you know what she told me? She said, Pastor, I was saying, if Brother Branham is still alive, I will get money to go to Jeffersonville to let him pray for me. And I said, okay, but now that Brother Branham is not alive, so what are you going to do? Brother Branham is not God. He's not God. He just showed us the way. He said, I am going, but the power is in the church. The power is still working. He said, I'm going, but the thing is there. Is there. So, Brother Abraham is dead since 1965. And you, in 2019, you are saying that you would like to go there. Go there. Go there. Does it mean that it's only in Jeffersonville that people can get healed? It's only there in America. If I'm, I'm sick here, I don't have money, I have to take plane to go there. So that they should lay their hand on me. No! No! You are the house of the living God. God is not in heaven. God is in you. Where you are sitting down right now. Oh, let's put together our hands to the Lord. I like it. I like it. Amen. So, I'll come back to my testimony. I didn't forget. And I pray for that woman. I pray on Thursday. The devil is still there. Friday. If I just lay my hand, I start talking. Oh, at the ground. And the, the, the sister was saying, Oh, brother, uh, brother, Pasalom. Ah, I've seen, I've been, uh, uh, I used to see people on TV when they are praying for them, they fall down. But never this thing happened in our church. I say, Yeah, the devil know that you are joking, you are playing. You don't know what you are talking about. People are possessed, but they are there. People are doing wrong things, but they are there. Because the Bible says, if there is no vision, my people perish. 16 years, you are going to conversion with the devil in your body. And upon all those anointing and so on there, in that conversion, nothing happened. No, you and I, we are serving a living God. God is still alive. No matter what sickness is catching you, my God can set you free. No matter where you are listening to me right now, the God of Elijah, the God of Branham, is the same God this morning. He can do something to you right now. You just believe. While I'm preaching here, something can happen in your body because God is alive. I pray someone should get touched right now. 
Someone who is listening me to someone right now, somewhere right now, someone who is sick, may the hand of the Lord come upon that person right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brother Branham said, God hates a powerless religion. God hates you when you are powerless. God hates your church when it is powerless. God hates you when you are without power. The Lord wants to see you with power. He said the time is coming and it has already come where the true worshippers who worship the law in spirit and the truth. Listen what he said. He said, they are the worshippers, the worshippers that the Lord like. I said, sister, you are there saying that, oh, uh, that is a problem in the back. He said, devil, there is juju. Juju is there. It's a charm. They didn't believe. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But I have to leave. I just plan to stay there for three days. But I've spent four days. The devil is still there. And I told the pastor, do you know, in the church there, they have never fasted. Never. I said, never. Even the... No. It's okay. Right on, sir. Never. And I told the pastor, because four days, the devil is still there. If the woman fall down, it will, he, he will, she will start talking. Come on. She will say, no, I will not come on. I say, I will make sure that you will leave her before I will leave this place. Do you know, the devil told me, oh, it's a lie. I say, you are here, you will see it with your eyes. After four days, the devil is still there. But the way the sickness was disturbing the, the sister, it decreased. Or is it not like that? But I know that it is there. Because once I put my hand and fall down, why? Why are you going to fall down? That means there is something that is not going well. I told the sister, because when he gets up, when she gets up, it pains her that among or before in front of people like this, she will be rolling on the ground without knowing. And I told her, do you know, the day the devil will come out, you will never fall down again. So she was expecting for that, that thing. On Sunday, I told the pastor that, Matthew chapter 17 verse 16 said some of the spirit will come out only by fasting and prayer. Matthew 17 chapter 16. And I told the pastor, then you and I and the sister, we are going to fast for seven days without eating anything. Come, come and see. The eyes are coming out. Fasting for how many days? Not fasting since to see so. I say fasting. Yeah. And the pastor is looking. Okay, it's a testimony I'm giving. He said, oh. He said, okay. I said, the sister, don't fear. You see, my first time to fast, to, to fast when I went to Accra, it was 11 days without taking even porridge. It's only pure water. It's only pure water. I've taken for 11 days because I was sick and I want the Lord to heal me. So, Seven days is nothing. So we are going to do it. Okay. Right on, sir. <laughs> Amen. 
when I was talking, they are only looking at me. What I will do for the devil to come out is up on me. Or is up to me. I know what I'm talking about. If I say God cannot tell lies, it's because his words are not lies. I will heal you. I'm the Lord who will heal you, who will bless you. It has to come. So that we know that the one who has spoken here is telling truth. And he is saying, Matthew 17, some of the spirits can only come out by fasting and prayers. I say, Pastor, do you hear? So that is the level we are going to attend right now. So seven days fasting without eating. I will make sure because what I'm doing, I know that I'm not only joking with the word of God. I know what I'm talking about. I want someone also to have that confidence. When you are talking about God, you have to know that God can do it. Okay. On Monday, who, who, the Monday was uh, the 20, no, the 30th of April. Yes. Last 30th of April. We start the fasting. From morning. Okay. They are just looking at me. Uh, I am the healer. That's what they are thinking. Uh -huh. So, whatever I will do, because Big B says, has done all their best, they couldn't do anything, and you, you are saying, oh, yo, let's do it. We are just waiting for the result. I say, you don't worry. Brother Abraham said, when he is dying, or when he is going, that the power is still with the church. The power is not only for Brother Branham. No! No! That's what people are thinking today. That the power is only for the prophet. No! It's for you and I. Let's use the power to show to the whole world that God is still alive. We don't need... Uh, an, or a hist historical God that cannot work today. He has done this, he has done this, he has done this. And what about today? We want him to do something also today. Brother Brana said, the first, how do you call it? Sarma, branch. The first branch. When the first branch came out, it wrote a book of Acts. And today, if we are also another branch, we are going to produce another book of Acts. Yes, sir. Connected. Amen. So we started the fasting. We plan to do it seven days without eating anything. Okay. From morning to evening, if I pray, the woman is on the ground. If I just lay my hand, he will fall down. And I say, you don't worry. Let's only continue. The devil will be tied. Because the praying we are doing is power. The Bible said, uh, Brabrano said that the most powerful weapon that God put into your hands is prayer. Shout to your eyes and speaking and talking to him is the weapon. That's why the devil will do everything to cut your life of prayer. In the night, he will tell you, no, you are feeling, eh, 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 no, you know, your, your health is not good. Don't. No! That same devil told Daniel that if you pray to another God, we will throw you into the hole of the lion. But Daniel disobeyed. You too, you have to disobey something somewhere to let God do something. We started the fasting on Monday. From morning to evening, 
to the following day on uh, is it yes Tuesday see what is going on I planned that we will do it seven days we started only Monday and on Tuesday by 4 p.m. the devil said I he will now leave <laughs> I said, come out. He said, yes. No. He agreed that he will come out. And I said, no. Do you know? You will not just go like that. Tell me who sent you to the sister before you go. The Bible said, you have to commend the devil. Tell him what you want him to do. I said, I want to hear the name of that person. Things that are no more in the message today. Not no more in the message, they are in the message, but we let them go. Yes. I say, you will, not, you will not just go and you cannot just leave you like that. Me laissant innocent. Leaving you innocent. I have to know who sent you. Since, because you were telling me that, oh, it's so many, many years that you were in the sister and you were free. Upon all those prayers, you are telling me that you, you are free. Conventions, the sister will go, anointing oil will be flowing, prayers will be going on, but the devil is still there. Because upon all this that people are doing, the devil doesn't see anything that can suck him. You just bring the living God. Carry the living God. Something will happen. In your house, something will happen. The witchcraft powers in your house. You just bring Jesus Christ into your house. Something will happen. I'm telling you the truth. I know what I'm talking about. God is not, a, is not a man to tell lies. If he speaks, he can do it. Amen. So on Tuesday, I said, come out. He said, no, I will go. I said, no, before you go, I will make sure that you tell me the person who juju, who, who jammed this woman. Do, do you see the job? It's like we are joking, but it is serious. The devil told me, no, ask for the name of the person. I will not need, I will, I will not give the name of the person. Because the person said that I should never give his name. The pastor was there, he was looking at me. Because I told him that this spirit, he didn't agree with me. But now, everything that is going on. He know now that uh -huh, the thing is not a simple sickness, but it is a spirit. Brother Sense, he says, people are passing through the same thing today. Yes. They are there spending their money in the hospitals, and the devil will never go out. Because it's not a hospital matter. God has given you and I power over spirits, over sicknesses. Anything that you say, anything that you prophesy on the life of someone, it will take effect. I say you, before, what I was saying, the pain, the back pain for the sister, it was serious. I said, they were using $2,000 in hospital a year. Up to 16 years, it is 32000 American dollars. When they told me, I said, oh my God. Why? 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 The power is in you. The power is in the church. And why is it that the church will leave the power and Use money to buy fake things. Someone can say amen. amen. 
I want the faith of someone to grow this morning. Because you can, you can be in a lower level and attain a highest level this morning. Look at my testimony. I was not going to church. But I prayed. I'll come back to this. I prayed and I defeated this sickness. I was not half faith at all. But once I've started, things change. God can do the same thing to you. Whether it is sickness, poverty, whatever it is. You who are listening to me right now, God is still working today. If you go to hospital, the doctors tell you, oh, you will not live, you will die. Tell him, my God, promise me life, not death. They will say, no, you have only three days to live. Tell him, you, it is a lie. I will not die. I will live to give the testimonies of God. Amen. And the sister, I told the spirit that give me the name of that person who sent you to the sister before you leave. And it says, no, 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 no. As for the name of the person, I can't mention the name because the person Refuse me to tell you. Yeah. So, I can't tell the name of the person. I accept, I agree to, to go out. And I say, no, don't go out. Yesterday you were telling me that you will not go out. And today you are saying you will go out. He said, no, I will go out. We don't joke with spirits. We don't baby them. We don't... Can I say, come on, Pam, pardon. We don't pamper them. Yeah. We, yes, we are serious with what we are doing. Give the name. He said, no, no, no. Give the name in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, no. I say, okay. You wait and see. If I pronounce the name of Jesus, it means I sent you a bullet. Is it like that? Yes, you're correct. So, you wait and get it. The pastor was sitting down there looking at me and the sister, brothers. We are not in a picnic. Is it picnic in English? Yes, sir. We are in a battlefield. You have to get up and do something. Don't, don't hold your, your weapon and be shouting, Oh, Lord Jesus, no! Speak the word! The devil will obey. I say, you say you are telling me that you will not give the name of that person. Okay. No problem. If I said Jesus unto you, that means I shoot you or I, I send you a bullet. I say, Jesus. You see why? Jesus. He will respond, why? I say, Jesus, why? Jesus, 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 why, why, why? Immediately, he starts saying, wait, wait, it's Amma who sent me. It's Amma who sent me. It's Amma who sent me. Brothers and sisters, that is the healing of our sister. From that 31st April, I, look, I said we'll fast seven days. It's only two days and the devil wins. But I said, no, I'll make sure that the devil is no more there. And we continue till the third day without eating anything. See, the third day, upon all the prayers I was doing, the, the woman, the sister was not fall down again. And I asked her, who is Amma? And you know. And he said, Amma is her auntie. Is it auntie? Yes, sir. That she is the one who brought her here. The spirit said that she is the one who charmed you. 
And the sister said, because she was not aware of anything. He said, because she can remember that that Amma killed her sister with witchcraft. Is it witchcraft? Yes. So, why is it that Amma is doing that? Amma is saying, why is, it, is she going to bring her in Wagadugu here, in the capital, and she will get a good man, a good husband. husband. The husband knew her before to know Sister Ren. Why is it that the husband didn't choose her and he's choosing this one? So she will kill her and everything will be gone. Brothers and sisters, do you know something? You, you are free. You don't think bad towards something, someone. Don't think that as you are not thinking bad towards someone, someone is not thinking bad towards you. There's any law like that that, uh, uh, that you would think bad towards someone before. Oh, is it? I'm talking well? Yes, right on. Don't think that you, that because you are not thinking bad against someone, so someone who will not think, no, there's no law like that. There is no law like that. Who can show me that law somewhere? No. No. You can be free with everybody. Someone will kill you. We are in Africa, and you know what I'm talking about. You, we, you will be in the same house with someone. He will be targeting, planning to kill you. Yes. He will say, no, I'm free with everybody. You will die. You will die. Amen. There's no law which states that Oh no, before someone will plan something against you and it will come to pass, that maybe you too you are planning. No, no, and no. You can be innocent and die if you haven't Jesus Christ. But if Jesus is for you, who can rest against you? Nobody. Nobody and nowhere. No government. No soldier, no weapon can come against you if the Lord Jesus is for you. You make sure that God is for you. Make sure that God is in you. Because, do you see, you can be in the church without being under the blood of Jesus Christ. The, the, the pastor asked me, Brother Elam, how can you say that the sister is charmed while she is living under the blood of Jesus Christ. I say, who told you? Who told you that the, the sister is under the blood of Jesus Christ? Someone under the blood of Jesus Christ? Juju cannot attack her. Never. Never. That means she is in the church, but not under the blood. She is outside the blood. But let her enter the blood today. And from today going, nothing will harm her. She says, from that 30, 31st April to today, she has never said again, here, my pain here, I have never up to today. See, the doctor in our country, if you go to university, you do seven years if you want to become a doctor. And after seven years, you will do again five years. It will be 12 years. So the doctor has uh, went to school for many, many years. They show or uh, they, 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 they lend him or they, 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 they show him how to cure people. Is it that? If someone is sick and the person comes to him, 
they, they show him how to do it. He learned for many, many years, more than 18 years for that. And the sick person came to him. The doctor has taken 16 years without healing her. And I, and I, a servant of God, I spent only three days there. And he, she's healed. The doctor and I, who has the powerful, the most powerful weapon, is it he or me? It's me. Because it's me, me, there is a God who can heal people. It can be, it can be a, a physical sickness or spiritual one. God, my God can do it. But the doctor, if it is physical, some of them he can do. I said some of them. But if it is spiritual, he will never touch it. But the God that you and I, we are seven, whether physical or spiritual, he will give away. Amen. What I want you to know there is the fasting we have done there. Because I pray simply on Thursday, nothing. Friday, nothing. Saturday, nothing. Sunday, nothing. Every day, she will just be falling, 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 falling. Ah, it's, I'm not interested in falling. What I'm interested in is the, his healing or her healing. I want to see her stop falling. That's what I want. And after two days of fasting, so, um, and do you know something? That Amma, she's the one who has been calling her every morning to greet her. Ren, how are you? And how about your health? How are you? Oh, may God deliver you. Or oh, should I bring you in a, 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 a prayer center? Oh, the... Hey. There is no good Satan. Oh, is it a lie? There's no good Satan. White Satan. There's no white Satan. White devil. No! Devil is still devil, black and dark. Yeah! See, 16 years, conventions, hot and hot, prayers, pastors, and so, so on. The devil he was still there looking at the children joking. The children of our brother Branham, who doesn't know their rights. They don't know what they are talking about. They will just be reading. Brother Branham said, Brother Branham said, Brother Branham said, the Bible said, the Bible said, where is the power? We need the power in the house of God. They will tell you, no, Brother Brandon said that even if you don't have power in the church and you have love and it is sufficient. What are you calling love? Brother Brandon said, if I, 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 I suck spirit, is it? I cast out spirit, he said, it's by love. Yeah. What kind, what kind of love you have and you cannot heal even headache? See the pyramid. Where is love? Top. You pass faith, virtue, and so so on. And you, you have the love without faith. Oh, that building will not stand because it is without foundation. The foundation is soft. Amen. Before the building can stand, you have to check the foundation. To add cement 
to add stone, to add an uh, iron rod, to make sure that the foundation is well seated. Brothers and sisters, 16 years, the devil is there. Three days, the devil ran away from me. Before he would go, he said, hmm, where am I going to go now? And I said, don't you know where you come from? You are asking me, where are you going to go? Did I send you here? Did I send you to the sister? He said, no, I don't know where to go. I said, where were you before? He said, no, I can't go back there. And I, I asked the devil, but if you are saying that you don't know where to go. If right now you, you kill her, and they are bringing her to the grave. Will you go to the grave with her? And she kept quiet. <laughs> I said, do you see that you are a liar? You are a liar! You are just troubling people. You are a liar! Come out! From that day to today. See, when that day the, 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 the sister was healed, she said she will walk because she cannot walk. She cannot go anywhere. And since 16 years, people in the area, they, they know her. But that day, you see, because of that, the husband bought him a motorbike because she cannot walk. So he bought her a motorbike to let her make in her rounds. But because of the pain, she can't even ride. So that day, the devil said, Yo, je m'en vais, bye bye. I'm, I'm going home. From that day, that very day, she said no. Because she, when she just got up, she was not feeling the backbone pain again. And she said, she stretched herself like this. Is it not stretched? Yeah. Oh, she was not feeling anything. He said, oh. She was asking me, Pastor, is it a dream? I said, it is more than a dream. It's more than a dream. We Christian, we are not dreaming. We are talking about realities. It's not a, it's not a dream. A dream like what? If it is a dream, the devil will know that it is a dream. This word is more than a dream. Oh my. Give a clap for the Lord for me this morning. He is still God today. Amen. If you don't know that he can work again, he will not work for you. But if you know that he can work and you claim your right, he will work for you. The sister said, he stretched herself, but it seems like the pain disappeared. Yes, for that moment, it seems. But I know that the devil is no more there. She said, for the first time, she will walk and go to market to see. Because before, she can never walk. Is it working? Yes. Then today, she's going to walk and go to market to see whether she can walk or no. Since 16 years, people were not seeing her outside. And that day, people saw her walking. People were surprised. Sister Anne, did you go to hospital in America? Did you? Go? Hey, our hospital is more powerful than American hospital. That Jesus that you receive, that simple name, that shapeless name, my brother and sister, the spirit know that name. Let that person be in you. Don't only pronounce the name of Jesus without having him in you. 
No! If you do it, it will be like people have done it in uh, Act chapter 19. Is it 19? Yes. They went and catch a boy uh, who has bad spirit and they say, ah, we have seen Paul praying, we have seen Peter praying, we have seen so-so and on, we have seen Brother Nice praying, we have seen so-so and on praying, we have seen Pastor this praying, I also I will pray. No! It's not like that. You have to make sure that what you are talking about is in you. They went and take that boy. Hey, Jesus, uh, in Jesus, uh, uh, Jesus, the name of Jesus that Paul uh, or uh, Peter is talking about, we are casting you out. The devil was looking at them. Hey. You people, you are disgracing me. I will show you what I'm able, I'm able for. Hey! You are talking about Jesus. I know him. You are talking about Peter. I know him. You are talking about Paul. I know him. And you, the person who is listening to me right now, and you, who are you? The devil knows everybody except you. I know Paul. I know Jesus. I know Peter. I know John. And you. What is your nationality? Do you come from Nigeria or from Togo? Who are you? You are pronouncing Jesus that you have heard someone pronouncing. I will let you know that the business is not like that. The job is not like that. It's not a photocopy black and white. No! The demon will know that it is photocopy. But if it is the original, he will know. Oh, he, the, he slapped them, seared their, 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 their dresses and so on. Blood was come out everywhere on your, their body. Some of them jump through the window. Oh, how can pastor jump through the window? Pastor prayer. How can you jump through the window? Don't you know what you are talking about? You and I today, someone who is listening, from today, you will know what you are talking about. From today, if the Lord is not in you, from today, give him a place in you. Amen. Amen. Because you can be saying, oh Jesus, Jesus, but maybe Jesus doesn't know you. Yes. He said, people will come to me and say, oh Lord, Jesus, is it not in thy name? No, I did this, I did it. He said, Leave me alone. I don't know you. You who are, I don't know how to say it in English. Workers of iniquity. Amen. He said, I don't know you. Where were you worshiping and God doesn't know you? In what church? Amen. So, the other time, the pastor from Burkina Faso, he sent me a message. He said, Brother Elom, your coming to our church has changed everything in the church. The Bible said, if you go into a house and they receive you, leave your blessing there. Let your blessing stay there. Letting, let them be, be, be feel, feeling it. The husband of the sister told me, Brother Elom, you are coming here, change the shape of the church. The sister told me, Pastor, am I dreaming? I said, no. Test yourself. 
shake yourself to shake your body to see that you are you are dreaming or hot. No, it's more than a dream. Amen. When the sister walked from her house to the house uh, to the market, people saw her. I say, Sister Ren, where did you attend hospital? Is it in the UK? Is it in America? Because such things, it's a big hospital that can do it. Right? But they don't know that the great physician is here. Amen. Amen. And she told them, No, I didn't go to hospital. Oh. And how did you manage? She said, God sent a pastor. And when he came, he prayed for, he, for, for me. And I got healed. Where? Pastor. From where? From Togo. Let me go into your house to go and see the pastor. See. I've done fasting and prayer for three days. My eyes were inside somewhere here. I was sitting down, just slim there, and the, uh, someone entered the house. He said, good morning, sir. I said, good morning. And he, she passed me, and she went to the sister. He said, sister Ren, where is that your pastor? I want to see her. Because I have problem with my eye. There's something on my eye. I thought it is something we call in French cataracts. How do you call it in English? Okay. I thought it is that, that cataract, but when I went to hospital, they, test, they tested my eyes and they said, no, it is not that. And I asked the doctors, what is it? They said they don't know, but it is worrying me. It is disturbing me. So let me see that your pastor. And the sister told her, he's the one who bypassed here. He's the one sitting down. He's the one who was, who is sitting down there. When the, the sister came and said, oh, brother, uh, sister Ren, I'm serious, I'm not joking. Where is the pastor? I'm saying the pastor, not the child of the pastor. Not the son of the pastor. No. He said, oh. The, that, he's the guy. He's the one sitting down there. Oh, Sister Ren, are you sure he is the one who pray and you are healed? Or is it that you went to hospital somewhere and you don't want to tell me? He said, no, he's the one. You go and talk to him. Oh, small pastor like this. Oh, my. Do you know? Do you know? We call it David. David. He was just a short man. Yes. And Goliath. Is, is higher, higher than this, uh, uh, this building. For David to look at Goliath, he would raise, raise the head like this. For Goliath to look at David, he would bow the head like this before looking at him. A battle that is not equal, but even with that small power that you have, that small faith that you have, it can move mountains. People, David was saying, let me go and fight this man. They said, no, you can't fight him. He was born a warrior. And you, you are a shepherd. You don't know how to manipulate the knife. Is it manipulate? Yes. In French we say manipulate. To, to handle and to use. Yeah. He dit, tu ne sais pas manipuler l'épée. Mais tout ce que toi tu sais, c'est conduire les brebis. You don't know to handle a sword. All what you know is just to direct the ships, the lamp. You can never fight this man. The cancer will ask you, do you think that you can fight me? It's the, men, the same spirit that told David that he cannot fight him.
Can someone say amen? amen. Today, I am in his sight. No. He will come by spirits. Called cancer. Called blood pressure. Called a tumor. Oh, yeah. But you have to know that he is a demon. Amen. And that sister, people were coming to come and see. The sister went to market. He went and buy yam. He went and buy uh, 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 palm nut. Is it palm? Noir de palm. Noir de palm. Noir de palm. Palm nut. Palm yeah. nut. He bought, she bought yam and palm nut because she know that we, as Togolese, we like fufu. We do our fufu with yam. We pound it in a, a mortar. mortar. I think here it's different. No, it's the same, same. thing. Oh, okay. Okay. So, after 16 years, she can never do such work. And she said, because she want to, 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 to test, to, to see whether she can feel the pain again. She went and buy the yam and the, uh, the, 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 the palm nut. He came, he cooked. She started pounding, pounding the fufu. It was amazing. People were surprised. When they want to see the pastor, is that small boy? You too. Whether you are small or giant, God can use you. Yes, Amen. Amen. She pounded the fufu. She pounded the palm nuts. She did the soup and everything. Oh my. She, let, she gave me a big food. I don't eat a lot. Yes, because of fasting and prayers, I'll just eat small and that's all. And she said, Pastor, do you know something? Once, the first time in 16 years, I pound fufu. It's today. But I was pounding the, the, the fufu to see whether I can feel the pain or no. But nothing. The doctor told me, you, I have to rest. I don't have to do uh, 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 hard work. I, no, I said from today, you can do the work that you want to do. Yes. April, May, June, July. Three months now. From that day, she has never said again, oh, I have, no. No. I was home. I was uh, in my house the other time. I was thinking about a, a, a problem to solve with, uh, with a small money. I was thinking, oh, where will I get money now? I just saw my phone ringing. It's a message from the sister and her husband. They sent me $400. I said, oh, it's okay in my life. Amen. They said, what God has done to them through me, that they cannot buy it. Stop using your money in hospital. You who want that God should give you baby, stop buying medicine. The God of Elijah, he can bless you today. Today, I say today, not tomorrow, today. As I'm talking here, he can touch your womb. Is it womb today? The problem you are having there, he can touch you today. I told you the other time, a, sister, a, 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 a woman came to me, and the woman and her husband, they said they, were, they, they got married together since 12 years, but they've never had the, a, a, a child. They went from prayer centers to prayer centers, but nothing. They were, the man himself is a doctor. They have done everything, but none. Nothing happened. 
So they heard of me and they came. When they came, the woman.